Welcome to Easy English by Easy. And today we are just going to have a small discussion on problem sharing and hesitation. Children, often girls hesitate to share problems with their parents. As you all are today girls only, I can understand that often you feel difficulty in sharing problems with your parents or even your teachers. I understand. The, this is called hesitation. Why do we hesitate to talk to parents, to I mean confide to our teachers about our problem? There are certain compulsions. Generally, the society looks at girls as an object of greater I mean sensibility. Girls are always taken by the society as a sensible citizen. Why not boys? If the people think that girls should be very sensitive, they should always keep quiet. They should not raise their voice. They should not uh, create problem. They should not talk anything rubbish. This is very bad. Society has always assumed girls as a statue, as a as an epitome of peace and you know silence. This is very bad. When ever girls come across any sort of unpleasant scenario outside, whenever they look something like if another girl on the road is being assaulted or being, I mean, uh, you know, victimized by antisocial elements, the girls are really threatened. They are, they become frightened. And then they don't, I mean, talk about this incident among their parents and teachers because they feel that the teachers will scold, the parents will scold them. Why do you bother? This is not happening with you. This, this is happening with some bad girls. But this is not the reality. The reality is that this happens in day to day life every day with some or other girl. Am I right? It is not necessary that only, uh, I mean, ill behaved girls are being assaulted by the anti social element and boys. It is a regular phenomena we come across with a good girls also. Am I right? Even very civilized girls walking on the road, a very unpleasant remark is being put by some people or anti social element. This is a day to day happening and this is a greater concern for all of us. First of all, as a teacher, as a parent, I would suggest you never keep it to yourself. Talk to your parents. Share this feeling with your friends. Share it to your parents. Because unless they will come to know what kind of scenario is outside when you are walking to school and you are not safe, you don't feel safe while walking to school alone, this will create a problem. Let the parents know that someone is following you unnecessarily. Someone is teaching you. Someone is, I mean, trying to put an unpleasant remark. Let the parents know. Because tomorrow when this will be reported to the police, there will be a background that you have told this matter several times to your parents and they have not taken it seriously. This is a very good question that you ask. Girls should always talk to their parents even on a small matter. Even on? And this, you should never fear. First of all, never fear that somebody will harm you. Once you decide that nobody can touch you, nobody will touch you. You are not, a, a, you know, a clay. You are built of heart and soul. Your desire, your willingness is very important. If you don't will that you, somebody can harm you, nobody can harm you. So you should never confine this problem to yourself. Share to your parents. Even if any incident happens with another girl who is not related to you, talk to your parents that this happened today. This was quite a matter of concern for all of us. I got frightened. I wanted to talk to my papa. I wanted to tell my mommy that this, this thing happens. This thing. And don't allow anybody to touch your body, even if he is your relative. Because he has no right to touch your body. He has no right to, I mean, uh, touch your, I mean, any, I mean, organ. Because this is very important. Why should anybody, I mean, take you? Well, your mommy and papa understands you and they have a limitation. Your mommy is capable of understanding who should be close to you. Your brother or you or your mother. It is not allowed. It is every, any stranger or any distant relative should not be allowed to entertain you or come to drop you on the school. Never, never take a lift from any unknown person or any you know, uh, person who is known just for some time or any distant relative because you never know the intention of that person. What is your mind? You don't know what you will drop today. You will go to another place. 
अब बाद में जब मेरे साथ कुछ घटना होगी तब तो पापा मम्मी को तो मैंने बताया नहीं वो तो आदमी मेरे मेरे को ड्रॉप करता है क्यों ड्रॉप करेगा भाई हम अपने पैदल जाएंगे अपने ऑटो से जाएंगे वाई शुड आई टेक लिफ्ट फ्रॉम एनी बडी एम राइट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक्स अल्लाह